Hello, it's Tina in a Museum of Vintage Bags and today in this video I am going to talk about a specific material called Lucite. What is Lucite? Lucite is an acrylid. It has the acronym of PMMA being the material it's made from and it was developed in the 1930s by DuPont. What was the application for it? It was used primarily during the Second World War and it was then taken into the fashion industry for jewellery items and accessory items after the war, so somewhere in the late 1940s. It was very, very successful as a material for making handbags, specifically Lucite handbags. Why? Because it was light, low in density, it was strong, hence giving it durability and therefore allowing these wonderful creations to last through the times. And today, I want you to look at one of the bags I have here. This is a Wiladi clutch. Wiladi was a company that dealt a lot in Lucite handbags, fabulous, fabulous creations, and they started life in 1946. This is a collectible transparent clutch. And why do I like transparent clutches? We have quite a lot of them at our bag bar, simply because of the lightness of being and the fact that you can carry it with just about any outfit. Now, coming to the bag bar over here, let's look at some other designers that use Lucite to create wonderful, whimsical clutch bags. This is by Maxime's, one of my personal pieces. I believe we can still see the label down there, a little faded, but definitely there. It's cut Lucite with a blobus clasp and metal flowers with little diamond tays in it. So if I were to close it, it has a click. And carrying it, it's very stylish. Moving on from here, let's look at another label which we have here. Florida handbags, made in Miami. Faceted Lucite with diamond tays. How it sparkles. And opening it, there is just the hint of the label remaining at the bottom. Florida handbags made very durable, transparent, faceted clutches. I have another one here, kidney shape, faceted lucite, but with three little folds here as the clasp accessory. And I think the label is a little bit more readable here. Florida handbags, Miami. Lucite is an easy material to look after. You just have to clean it, don't use any solvents on it, and store them, preferably in a place of even temperature, meaning to say no highs of cold and no lows of hot, trying to keep it such. And your Lucite handbag could last for a very long time, such as the ones that I've shown you. Now coming forward here, another label that worked with Lucite in their famous bird cage bags, Majestic. Another one that fused transparent Lucite with fabric, Evans. And I love the way they've done the cross stitching here, giving it somewhat a quilted effect behind the Lucite, all in red on a cream satin, very simple, but very elegant. Now the next bag I wanna talk about is heavy. This is a Wiladi. Notice the diamond tay still sparkle within the clasp. The unique shape of it, anything you put in here will be seen by the world. So hence, so much for the mystery of a woman's handbag. And if we open this, we can see etched into the brass here, the label Wiladi. In all my years of collecting handbags, which is past 15, this is the only one I have seen so far in an immaculate condition. Somewhere along the line in my research, I found this 
photograph. And if we look down, and it's Marilyn Monroe carrying a lucite bag, and that looks almost like a Wiladi handbag. And I think the one I have may just be it. I carried this for quite a while. It was one of my favorite lucite bags, and in it, I used to have these items. These items were hybridized from other designers. So this would be a lipstick container from Evans. This would be a little small money pouch from Evans. And this was a mirror from Ingber. And I would have these items in my bag with a handkerchief, plus some other things. But one could not load it up too much. And so that handbag always drew a lot of conversations whenever I carried it because people were curious. How do you manage to have all these things in a little receptacle that everyone can see? So Marilyn Monroe and I hope that our little story here on Lucite is going to get you going and hunt down your Lucite handbags. So from me here in the Museum of Vintage Bags, don't forget to like us, comment on us and subscribe to our channel, Strange But Cool, and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.